The Vindicator. First, I want to describe how I even heard of this movie. Back in the day when everything was on VHS, there was one series that stuck out in particular on the racks at the video store because of the multicolored stripes on the side. These tapes were made by a company called Key Video, and I was always fascinated by their odd covers. Key Video released all sorts of genres to VHS. I, of course, always loved their horror titles like House on Haunted Hill and Phantom of the Paradise. Now that's a crazy movie. Anyway, The Vindicator was released in 1986. Originally, it was called Frankenstein 1988. Whoa, two years in the future. There was already Frankenstein 1970 from 1958, Frankenstein 80 from 1972, and Frankenstein 90 from 1984. Why were there so many futuristic Frankenstein movies that never managed to be futuristic enough? I think they were also trying to capitalize on the title by calling it The Vindicator because it sounds like The Terminator. But enough about the title. What happens in the movie? Well, it was meant to be a retelling of the Frankenstein story, but this time using advanced technology to bring the creature to life. Project Frankenstein. The technology here is some kind of state-of-the-art spacesuit. The catch is that part of the suit doesn't function right and causes the suit to go haywire and forces Carl Lehman, the main character, to go on a killing spree. Hey. What the hell? The villain, Dr. White, sabotages a scientific experiment he's working on. Carl's trapped inside, there's a big explosion, and he dies. They decide to use his burnt corpse for their Frankenstein project by combining him with cyborg technology. By the way, that kid has some really bad lines. Do you know E.T.? So Carl is kind of like Robocop, or a Borg from Star Trek. Though this came out before either of those. So this was before cyborgs were so commonplace. You have to give it some credit there. And I also gotta give it some credit because it's the only movie I can think of that makes reference to the arcade game Zaxxon. Yeah, I think it was the 3,000 free games at Zaxxon that tipped me off. So Carl is made into a cyborg and soon after, things start going screwy in the lab. Some of the lab monkeys go nuts and start killing the security guards. You can clearly tell they just threw one of the monkeys onto the guy. <laughs> Probably not too safe for the actor or the monkey. Soon after, Carl escapes in a garbage truck, his exterior suit is burned off, and his true cyborg form is revealed, which is where they got the image for the VHS box cover. He goes into town and comes upon a Halloween shop. He seems disturbed. I know why, it's because of the shitty mask selection. No Michael Myers or Tor Johnson masks? What kind of crappy place is this? He basically just goes around kicking the shit out of people. He looks like a silver fucking surfer, man! Carl tries to contact the suit's creator to have him fix the suit so he won't kill anyone, but the creator starts shooting at him. I can understand the police trying to stop him with guns, but shouldn't his own creator know better that guns can't stop him? Rightfully so, the dumbass is thrown out a window. A character named Hunter that's sent out to try and stop Carl. Hunter captures Carl's wife. Carl quickly gets his wife back, and instead of fighting back, Hunter just shoots herself in the head. Don't! Boy, she gave up easily. What a worthless character. The ending is your typical cheesy monster battle. White turns himself into a cyborg thing too. They duel it out, and eventually Carl kills him by pumping him full of jizz. Ugh, gross. Years later, Carl's wife and child are at a museum looking at the Vindicator's suit, which has been put on public display. Then the movie ends. Wow, this is a movie I really don't recommend. Since it wants to be Frankenstein so badly, how about just go watch Frankenstein? Or The Terminator. <laughs>